what is going on, buddy? Hello! It is Pixel Partners here, and welcome back to Professor Layton vs. Phoenix Right. When we left off, we're trying to progress more in this witch trial of sorts to trying. save a spell's life. <laughs> These witnesses are really getting in the way. They're really dead set on mm -hmm. their dreams and hopes. But little did they know, they are their own worst enemies. Yep. As we now have the milk bucket because fucking Mary stole it, because of course she did. Uh, and this bucket would make it very impossible to say that she was holding a scepter in that yeah, hand because it's he, it's not a rope bucket. It's a fucking chunky yeah, ass I, wooden he can't. fucking it's, you can't. handle. <laughs> Eat that. It's impossible. All of your testimonies have come to the same conclusion. The scepter was not in her right hand with, lan with the lantern. With with lint, not in right hand with lantern. <laughs> the scepter was not in right hand with lantern. Therefore, it must have been in her other hand, the one holding the bucket. However, that's not it. Not by a long shot. What do you mean? <laughs> it's my name. Contrary to what one of the witnesses stated, the milk bucket was in fact at the crime scene. And you'll also notice something about this bucket. Take another look at the court illustration. Something about the bucket seems a bit odd, wouldn't you say? Objection. They just assumed what it looked like since they couldn't actually draw it since it wasn't mm, there. Yeah. This illustration was based on eyewitness accounts, so a small discrepancy or two is conceivable. Objection. It's not a small <laughs> discrepancy, though. Actually, Inquisitor Barnum, it's highly likely that this illustration is much less accurate than you think. In fact, there's a blatant contradiction present in this illustration. Yep. Admittedly, it does at first look possible that Miss Cantabella was holding the scepter and the bucket at the same time. However, if you look at the real milk bucket, that possibility goes up in smoke. Here, let's have a look at the real deal. Notice the handle? Eh. No, th that cannot be. He's like, God damn it. <laughs> oh, but it is. <laughs> This particular milk bucket has two pieces of wood on either side of the handle. Were you to try and hold both the scepter and this bucket, well, let's just say that'd be a challenge. Yeah. <laughs> to put it simply. There is no way anyone could not, could hold both the bucket and the scepter at once. Not with one hand. <laughs> <laughs> what? That must mean you clearly have the wrong bucket. We never lie when it comes to milk. That is the very bucket I took. She's like, oh. <laughs> it looks like the witnesses are as surprised about this as Barnum. The defendant couldn't have been able to hold the bucket and the scepter at once. Also, we have already established that she was not holding a scepter in her right hand. Therefore, the defendant, Miss Espella Cantabella, was not holding a witch's scepter at any point during the incident. Order, order, I said, order! Just, just what, what is the meaning of this? In all my days as judge of this court, I have never heard such an argument. These are but a paltry set of words, and yet they ring with such remarkable strength. Words have power, judge, remember that. <laughs> Sticks and stones, mud buddy. You ever heard that before? <laughs> Your Honor. <laughs> what you just heard was logic. Logic, are you once again calling me fucking stupid? <laughs> you say. <laughs> well, what with these two? They, they just silenced Inquisitor Barnum with mere words. <laughs> Such foolishness. This, this must be some type of witchcraft. <laughs> oh my god. Wait. Do you think... Could they be <laughs> witches? <laughs> it would seem that the concept of logic does not exist in this world. <laughs> right, then let's take this chance to knock their case down a peg or two. I'm worried if we keep this up, we'll all be joining Espella in a one-way trip to the flames. Objection. <laughs> Most intriguing. Oh boy. The knight allows his sword to speak for him during battles. You have spoken with a, with a sword of words. So be it. I too shall wield such a blade. What do you mean? 
Sir Blue Knight, there appears to be a hole in this logic of yours. A hole? According to the earlier testimony, it was believed the accused had the lantern hanging from her wrist by the handle. However, she supposedly dropped it, hence it being covered in mud. Yeah. That's right. Well, that may be true. It does not necessarily mean the accused was therefore unable to use magic. Huh? What? It's merely a question of when she dropped the witch's scepter. Well, what do you mean, Inquisitor Bardem? It is very simple, my lord. The accused, while first holding the lantern and the witch's scepter, cast her magic. Then, she dropped both the lantern and the scepter. Ah! The witch's scepter was dropped after the spell was cast? Uh, of course! Yes, that must be it! What say you, Sir Blue Knight? That is but a taste of the knightly knowledge of the Inquisition. <laughs> wow, Sir Bottom cut through that baker's witchery like a hot knife through butter. <laughs> Exemplary! I expect nothing less from the hand of Bottom. Fucking, that little fucking dude stole my come last time about a sword through hot butter? <laughs> or a hot knife through butter? Hot sword through butter? Whatever the fuck it was I said last time. Everyone else can remember from 23 <laughs> and a half hours ago. But. Oh, to be able to shake that powerful hand someday. <laughs> oh my god. Barnum! 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 Simping! What? <laughs> that Inquisitor isn't quite what he first appeared. Yeah, sure seems that way. Just a moment ago, it seemed like he'd never even heard of logical debate. Now he's suddenly using it against us. This guy is no joke, that's for sure. Is he from the future too? <laughs> now then, most honorable witnesses. I see you lend us your aid once more. Well, it's not even the future, it's just a completely different world. Well, very true, yeah. <laughs> Are you from the outside? <laughs> the outside. I request the old testify to the court once more. Tell us which occurred first. The dropping of the lantern, or the casting of the spell. The chicken or the egg? <laughs> <laughs> Witnesses, you may begin your testimonies. Tell this court in your own words about the sequence of events which transpired tonight. All right. Witness of course, testimony. we're starting with you. Well, let's see here. Yeah, um, of course, the lantern fell to the ground after the incantation of Ignace. Sploosh! I, I'm as sure as snow is white. I made certain to keep my eyes peeled on that milk bucket after all. Besides, how can you be sure the lantern fell just because it has a little mud on it? These eyes do not lie. I saw the lantern in the accused hand when the incantation was uttered. Well, it's also cracked. <laughs> Figures? Uh, their testimonies are all over the place now. Yep. These four testimonies. They're most intriguing. Interesting. But both work. <laughs> Witnesses all saw the same thing, and yet... People's memories are evidently quite fickle. They can never be a truly reliable source. Well then, Professor, with enough poking and prodding, I bet we can really cause their testimonies to crumble. And of course. We need to exploit their fickle memories to turn this thing around. We've got this, Nick! We'll press them so hard they won't even remember what they had for breakfast! That's what she said? But okay. What? <laughs> Can't even remember what I had for breakfast. It's probably bread, actually. <laughs> all all we've been eating this whole time is bread and jam. <laughs> now, Sir Baker, you may begin your interrogation. At least that jam is my jam, I must say. It's good oh jam. My God. It's the jammiest of jams. I want toast with jam on it now. Of course you do. That sounds so good. <laughs> All right, let's talk about you and the whole thing. I haven't had toast with jam on in months. <laughs> the lantern fell after the incantation. I haven't had toast in months. <laughs> Same. Are you positive about that? Yes. Are you <laughs> sure? <laughs> I am positive, positive. I am positive. I heard a voice and then sploosh all over my toast. <laughs> that sploosh. Was that the sound <laughs> of the lantern hitting the ground? Indeed, but of course. Do you see? Oh no, he's doing the do you see thing. But if you look at the lantern, you'll notice that the glass is shattered. You specifically said you heard a sploosh. Shouldn't you have heard the sound of the glass shattering when it hit the ground? The sound of glass shattering? Uh, no, I'm afraid I failed to catch your drift. <gasps> it did Wait. the thing! Uh, <laughs> I was present there a bit farther away from the crime scene, you see. 
I have recollection of hearing such a sound. Yeah, it's they, happening. They did it! Uh, no recollection. Precisely so. I'll have you know I can easily hear a dog barking across town. Do not underestimate my hearing. I wasn't. Relax, Grandpa. <laughs> There's nothing of interest in this testimony. When there's with the goat, please proceed with her testimony. Well, uh, right. You mean us? Uh, you start with us, uh, didn't you, Snowy? So I was gonna say, uh, before that, but I guess that kind of helps add on to it. When it, if someone hears a sploosh, that was probably liquid that dropped. So yeah. I wonder if it was the milk bucket that dropped. She's like, I went to steal the milk and save it, but there was no milk in there anymore. Mm. It vanished because she's a witch. <laughs> Yeah, you go, Snowy. But, uh... You go, it's, Snowy. Uh, I'm just gonna keep my eyes peeled on that milk bite. Oh, sure you did. Sure you did. But earlier, I did it again. Oh my Shit. <laughs> Fuck, no, go away. Back. Back, foul beast. You say that Miss Cantabella had the lantern hanging from her wrist. Well, not quite. We didn't say for certain. We only believed it was on her wrist. Fuck, okay. Believed? Yes, yes, precisely. You know how you sniff milk when you're not quite sure if it's gone bad? The ghost giving her little kisses. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> and then your nose is assaulted by that foul odor that you weren't expecting. Well, it's a bit like that. Heed my words, madam. Do not make a habit of stealing for your own safety. We said we're sorry, please. It was not Snowy's fault. <laughs> it's like, don't bring me into this. <laughs> oh, brother. Anyway, we can confidently say that we both saw the milk bucket, right, Precious? And as for the lantern, falling, we, we, we don't know much about that, do we now, Snookums? <laughs> okay. Snookums. Huh. So I was making sure the lantern fell just because it has a little mud on it. The sploosh. What do you mean? I don't know. Well, maybe the mud was already on the lantern before any of this happened. Did you ever think of that? Before any of this happened? Like, maybe it's been there since last week. It did rain last week, too, after all. Right. And if that's the case, then there really isn't any point arguing about whether or not she dropped the lantern. <laughs> right? <laughs> Indeed, why are you speaking so slow? <laughs> what say you, Defender? Huh. Why was she speaking so slow? I say take a closer look at the lantern. You'll notice there's mud on the glass. Mud on the glass? Smudge on the lens? <laughs> okay. The lantern wouldn't be very useful with all that mud blocking out the light. Miss Kira. I'd say your little theory regarding this lantern is muddy at best. Hey. <laughs> ah! Terrible puns! I can point out when it's still the cows come home. Oh my god. <sighs> but that wouldn't turn this testimony into anything I can use. I've gotta find a lead somewhere. And then it's me. Nile. Yeah, I get it. Okay. This is important. Are you sure you really saw this lantern? That lantern. The lantern. <laughs> you are but a petty baker, are you not? It is not your place for telling me what is important. Oh boy. There is but one thing of importance. Ridding this sound of his witches as quickly as possible. Objection. Hardly. I'd say this is far more important. What? What? <laughs> you don't believe in the power of a bitch? Oh my god. <laughs> We're trying to find out the truth here. Oh, sir, that girl's a witch, I say. A witch. I would. Stick my entrance into the Nazi Inquisition on it. Bold move. Write yeah. it down. <laughs> Listen well, whelp. Oh. Y yes, sir, Barnum. Many young men within the ranks of the knighthood share your level of passion. However, you left your ambition completely behind you. Blind you. You let your ambition completely blind you. <laughs> the same way that a mighty lantern leaves one blind and helpless in the dark. What? What? <laughs> the, oh. This guy? Yes, indeed. I would say he is quite the tough motivator. Hmm. What do you think, Nick? Did you notice anything fishy? Yeah. 
Possibly. I think there may be something I can use. Really? Wow, I didn't hear anything special. There was definitely something out of place about that one witness's testimony. It was something I haven't noticed from any of the other witnesses so far. It appears you may have found something, Mr. Wright. Before witness cross-examination, this is something I have never done before. Your ancestor has. But then, maybe there's another way I should be tackling this. I believe it is worth trusting that intuition, Mr. Wright. Okay, got it. All right, let's try pressing that old man one more time. Yep, the sploosh. But like, or wait, has has there been four, or was it just like three the max? No, there's been there's been multiple four because it's. Uh, yes, there's been multiple before. I don't know if there's been four, but there's definitely been a lot before. Yeah, I know. Because he's like, More I never had sure, four, sure. I'm, I'm pretty sure there was one time there was four. It might have been the carriage case. Oh. But I'm not sure exactly, but I'm pretty sure at some point there was four. Probably even more than that at some point. But let's press oh. that and see if we get that I game miss... mechanic years before Great Ace Attorney yeah. came out and used it. <laughs> I miss I miss Beppo. Or, <laughs> or, well, I'm right or, here. <laughs> or Sandwich as he was later. <laughs> yeah. I miss doing his voice. All right. The lantern fell through the condition. Are you positive about that? I didn't say you're positive, positive, I'm positive. I heard your voice and then sploosh. That sploosh. Uh, was that the sound of lantern hitting the ground? It was mostly the same so far. Indeed, but of course. Do you see? <laughs> Do you, motherfucker? But <laughs> if you look at the lantern, you'll notice that the glass is shattered. <laughs> You specifically said you heard a sploosh. Shouldn't you have heard the sound of the glass shattering when it hit the ground like Stone Cold Steve Austin's coming in at your ass? Do Can you, I get a hell yeah? Do All you right. see? Do you see, motherfucker? <laughs> oh. oh. All right. There's things to the sound of glass shattering. Oh, I'm afraid I'm going to catch a drift. So Phoenix is going to be like, whoa. Hold it. Yep. There it is. Right there. I knew I heard something strange. Why is there a fucking speech bubble here? What is this? <laughs> Huh? But old Greybeard didn't say anything weird. My, it's not the old guy that said something weird. It's the person next to him. N next to him? Ah, oh, look there, Professor! The goat lady! She looks really deep in thought. It would seem... She has noticed something odd in this elderly gentleman's testimony. Ah! Th that's right! These cross-examinations have four witnesses! Hey, Nick, it looks like we're not the only ones paying attention to these testimonies! You're right, which means if they're all listening to each other's testimonies... Correct, Mr. Wright. Each witness is fully aware of themselves and their own actions when in the middle of their own testimonies. However, it is while listening to the testimonies of others that witnesses may sometimes reveal the most valuable information. That is real. That's, that's exactly what has happened. I see. It's habitual. They can't tell they're doing it, but I can. And I'm going to use it to turn the tide back in our favor. This is ex this in is fact, way before its time. I do believe I may have spotted our first opening in which to t to test this new technique. Mr. Wright, can I draw your attention to the touch screen? Oh boy. The touch screen. What? What the fuck are you talking about? Right there. What? <laughs> <laughs> Setting the magnifying glass during a witness's testimony will allow you to shift your focus across to another witness. Right. So the important thing here isn't the witness that's in mid-testimony. It's the other three witnesses listening. It's just a matter of catching them off guard and questioning them. What are you waiting for, Nick? Let's give it a shot. How about we try questioning the goat lady next to the old greybeard? Okay, all I have to do is slide the magnifying glass over to that witness. Alright, so can I just do it by- Is this how it worked before, or no? Um, it was a little different, and I believe it was just like, it didn't have actual pictures of them, it was yeah. just dots. But, um, it was pretty similar. Can I just click? Alright. Question. Hang on! That was the weirdest what? thing I've ever heard in my life. Hang on! <laughs> that was weird. But, uh, excuse me, uh, Miss Mary? Oh, what do you mean, us? Um, but Mary and I have nothing else left to say. I knew it. I caught her completely by surprise. 
Uh, Mr. Wordsmith just gave his testimony. Uh, he told us all about the sound he heard when the lantern fell to the ground. Mr. Wordsmith didn't seem too sure. But I wonder if you might happen to have something to say about this. Oh, uh, well, that's... Uh, 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 is that all right, Sir Barnum? May, may we answer the question? You holding out info, buddy? <laughs> you telling the witnesses to be silent? <sighs> Do what you will, madam. There's no need for formalities. Huh? Well, we'll try and explain. Well, we no way. The truth is, we did hear, so he did hear something. Uh, that is to say, we heard the sound of the lantern's glass shattering. It was sure of it. It was frighteningly loud. Ah. Quite startled us, didn't it, Snowy dear? I looked in the direction of the sound, but I couldn't see anything, let alone the girl or those two thieves. It was a tad dark, after all. When the glass shattered, the flame inside must have gone out. Hence, he could not see them. That seems to be the gist of it. But then, as I appeared into the darkness, I heard it. You heard it? What did you hear exactly? You know, that I heard. Stone cold! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she knows she, the incantation for the spelling names. Nah, shit. <laughs> well, fuck. What did you just say? No. Now no, hold it right there, witness. It is, my lord. The glass shattered when the lantern fell. Then after that, you heard the incantation for the spill Ignaz. Do you swear to this court that this is without a doubt correct? That's how the... That's how the animation played out. Uh, yes, maybe, I think. And how about my testimony? Uh, uh, what if I are... Uh, <laughs> or, or a oracle observation? That blast and spell Ignaz occurred first, then the lantern plummeted to the ground. I heard no such thing. There was no sound of shattering glass. Absurd. Simply absurd. So the lantern fell and the glass shattered. That does not change the very fact that this girl is a witch. Objection. Bro, all y'all are saying different shit oh right now. God. Let's hold on a second. <laughs> I hate to disappoint you, but that's not quite the case. In fact, this testimony changes things a lot. Wouldn't you agree, in agree <laughs> Inquisitor Barnum? Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> What is the meaning of this? Let's go over what we know so far. In order for a witch to use any magic, they must be holding a witch's scepter. And yet, none of the four witnesses saw the defendant holding a scepter of any kind. That's because the scepter was made to disappear with the spell to mirror, correct? At the time of the crime, the two victims grabbed Miss Cantabella's arm, causing her to drop a lantern to the ground. If, at the time, she was in fact holding an invisible scepter, then the scepter must have fallen when she dropped the lantern. Now, let's say, hypothetically, that Miss Cantabella really is a witch. In order to use any magic, she would have had to recite the spell before dropping the scepter. However, as our witness, Miss Mary, has just stated in her testimony, she heard the incantation for Ignaz after hearing the lantern's glass shatter. Yeah. Uh, what? Oh, oh God, his eyes. eyes. <laughs> <laughs> you do all understand what that means, don't you? It means that Miss Cantabella, the supposed witch you've locked up, could not possibly have cast any magic. Therefore, the defendant, Espella Cantabella, is clearly in no way, shape, or form a witch. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh. -ho. Oh my uh, god! You're my favorite, and I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Such frivolity! Do you realize what you're insinuating? Do you really think she is not a witch? Mm, that's nonsense! I didn't even, even listen to my testimony! We did, but you're wrong! There is no glass shattering! Are you calling me a liar, Missy? You couldn't even see the mud on the lantern when it was plain as day! What ridiculous claims, all of you! Oh, hush! Take your little toy sword and go back to playing pretend, Sir Knight. He's- he's gonna be a little upset. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
So I don't shut my fucking mouth. <sighs> Witnesses? This is a court of law, not a playground. Must I remind you of the importance of these proceedings? Which is in the magic threaten our fair town of Labyrinthia. Your words here today could decide the fate of every single citizen within our walls. Do you understand? As such, I expect each of you to take your role seriously and testify honestly about what you saw. Just fucking dead silence <laughs> yep. in here. <laughs> in all my days as judge of this court, I've never seen such behavior. Behavior that leaves a cloud of doubt over the credibility of each of your testimonies. Indeed, my lord. Quite a miserable set of witnesses, this lot. Hmm, <laughs> I see. It would appear this trial has come to a sudden halt. Huh? So, that was mean. Quite right. Means you have won this trial, Mr. Wright. We've won? <laughs> I don't expect that to be the case right now, but... I can hardly believe the situation we have found ourselves in. I did not anticipate this trial ending with such a strange turn of events. But due to these witnesses' dubious credibility, I can see no reason to continue. What say you, Inquisitor Barnum? Doesn't sit well with him. He ain't gonna give up yet. What? Oh, never mind. As you wish, my lord. Well, what's going on? <laughs> They're actually going to let this witch run free through the town? Gosh, as if it wasn't for that witch and her friends. Barn them! Barn them! Barn them noble! Barn them! What? I. Trial ain't even close to being over. Oh Who my the god. Hell are How you? drunk are you right now? His name is some guy. <laughs> that, I mean, I assume it's just no, there no, for no, now. No, but, I know, but that's what yeah, they made I love they it. put in his little nameplate yeah. <laughs> there for now. Just some guy. Order! Order! Who is this this buffoon? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Has he jumped down already? Oh god. Oh. Single-handedly save this trial on the fifth witness. <laughs> what the fuck? Yes, we should trust you when you are this drunk, buddy. Save what? <laughs> <Huh>? What? <laughs> Barnum didn't see this one coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! Um. I I could do it. <laughs> Take it, man. Just as I thought, this trial was going down the drain before I got here. Okay, you lot assemble, Avengers assemble. <laughs> we need a strategy mating ASAP. I say, who are you? <laughs> Thank goodness you showed up. We can't give up now, everyone. It has come down to this. Tarms, everyone, we shall do battle against the baker and that hat sailor. I... I can't believe this. What the heck is going on? <laughs> hmm, truly fascinating. Seems a new witness has taken the stand. Luke's just shook. What's more, he appears to be quite the formidable witness. Let's throw a bo Oh my god. Well, I guess, uh, this trial is still far from over. What is there some weird, weird ritual happening? I feel like they're about to summon Satan through the ground here. They're witches! <laughs> What the hell? Huh. Yeah, that's a... Uh... Huh. Yeah, that just... I... Never in my days have I seen I... something so fucking wild. Someone just jumped down from the gallery and just... Huh. Drunk Always something less. new. Absolutely. It's that... <laughs> it, the guy... Oh, you should... <laughs> I know that's not his voice. But you, you should have made it the southern dude that's always at all the trials. You finally came down. <laughs> shit. Like, I'm tired of seeing this <laughs> shit. I'll take control today. Oh my God. All right. Well, 
since we're at this to be continued screen, I guess we'll continue on that to this wild ass wicked testimony from partners, some guy next time. Ultimate Pixel Partners lore. <laughs> you need to do that now. It needs to happen. Uh, but the voice doesn't match. I don't know. Well, I'll, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. <laughs> oh, boy. Did I do it next time? Uh, Fuck yes, it. If not, there's a the next time. Okay. You did. Okay, good. I can't remember anything because I'm so distraught right now. <laughs> 